What's up everyone? This is Andy. I'm in my studio Born Free Barber Collective in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Currently, uh, we are in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, so I am not going to be teaching you how to do a haircut right now because I cannot have a human in front of me. So instead, I will be reviewing all of these awesome beard brand products that I'm sure you're familiar with. And if you're not, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about them. The salt spray is by far my favorite product that I've used by beard brand. I like it because you can use it for a lot of different reasons. The biggest reason I use the salt spray is for kind of a messy texturized haircut. Um, for that, that works better on hair on the top that's shorter and texturized a lot. You can put the salt spray, spray it in the top in damp hair, kind of mess it up and either let it dry naturally, kind of in that messy state, or you can blow dry it, kind of blow dry it up, mess it up a little bit. Something else that you can do with the salt spray is spray it in the damp hair and blow dry it in the style that you want. And it will give it a really nice, like natural hold with some texture so you can have that volume that stays in there. The salt spray comes in a lot of different scents. I have six, all, I think this is all of them, all six right here. Temple smoke, This one is, it smells kind of clean, but it kind of smells like a little spicy as well, a little like musty. I think musty and clean is kind of a contradiction, but that's kind of what that smells like to me. Tree Ranger, which I, I've had this one before and I think this is kind of like a piney scent. Yeah, it's kind of like minty, piney, mountainy. This one smells really good. This one smells like really fresh. Spiced Citrus, this one smells very like, think of what every home it, like during the holidays should smell like. This is what that one smells like. Yeah, like orange and clove. Oh, it's so good. This one smells like it has a little bit of mint in it to make it, tea tree's kind of like a, a harsh smelling smell that's not appealing to everyone. And so it smells like it has a bit of menthol in it. I don't see menthol, but that's kind of what I get from it. But it smells really good, really fresh and clean. Four vices, like not a very descriptive scent, but that one definitely smells musty, but good, like a, um, yeah, not like a dirty musty. If you've ever had a cologne that isn't spicy, it's not sweet, it's, it's kind of like a musty, it's not very descriptive at all, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like it though, it does smell good. Coffee, tobacco, cannabis, and hops. Four vices, that makes sense. Yeah, think of like, you know, walking into a humidor or something. Oh, that's such a good smell. Last one, Old Money. I, I think this is my favorite scent, the Old Money scent. There's a lot of other products that have that scent as well, which is exciting. Um, this one is harder to put my finger on. It's kind of citrusy, spicy, and musty all at the same time. Um, oak and leather is how it's described. I smelled, now that, whenever I read it, I'm like, okay, actually, yeah, I smelled that. The leather, that definitely comes through. So those are the salt sprays. I like those. Again, it will give you a really natural finish, a natural hold and some texture in your hair. If you have, say you have a side part and you wanna get some volume in the front and you take a round brush, maybe you have the travel brush uh, by Beard Brand. They also have a round brush um, as well. You can spray the salt spray in your hair, damp, and round brush that up for the volume to kind of get more of a pompadour. And, and that will stay a little bit on its own without any product. But if you do want to put in some product, they have Styling Balm, which is going to give you, they describe it as medium hold and shine. So it's, it's a basic, it's a basic um, product that is kind of universal for your hair. So it's not gonna give you like this strong, crazy hold and it's not gonna make you look super greasy um, and it's not gonna make it like so dry to the point where you can't like rework it. Um, but it is gonna hold your hair. So if you use salt spray first and get kind of that volume going and manipulate, manipulate it that way, you can put some of the styling balm in and just hold it in place. And the two scents that I have here are the Tree Ranger, which I talked about, which is kind of that mountainy pine smell. Yeah, I like that one. 
That reminds me of home. And then the four vices, which is that tobacco-y. Mm, that's good. I would put this in my hair, but I don't have long, I don't have short hair. If I did, I'd use it. With these products, with the styling balms, make sure when you get them in your hands, you're like rubbing them in really well and warming up in your hands. Um, you don't wanna have any chunks on your hands because if you have chunks on your hands, you put it in your hair, you're gonna have chunks in your hair. And you also wanna avoid putting it in your hands and just like working it in the front. Don't start in the front. If you put it right in the front, then you're gonna end up with just like all this product here and it's hard to get out. And that's just kind of the first thing everyone sees. It'd be just like product. So when you, when you get it, work it in your hands, kind of mess up your hair everywhere a little bit. And then you can take your comb, maybe the beard brand comb, and comb it and rework it and, and um, mold it in there into the shape that you want. So the Utility Balm is kind of a one size fits all product as far as moisturize, moisturizing goes. Um, you can use this on your hair, you can use this on your beard, you can put it on your skin. Um, I'll put it on my hands right now. This one's old money, and I love this smell. This is my favorite scent. I'm putting it on my knuckles because I wash my hands like crazy, and especially with the coronavirus right now, like I, I wash my hands every time I touch something different. So I'm putting it on my hands. It also says it's a good tattoo moisturizer. I wouldn't put this on a fresh tattoo because it's scented, but after everything's healed, tattoos always look better when they're moisturized. If you have like dry skin, flaky tattoos, they're not gonna look very vibrant. Um, so putting this on your tattoos would work wonders. Make sure they're healed all the way. The Utility Balm is good for your beard if you have kind of um, an unruly beard and you wanna give it a little bit more shape, you can put this balm in and work it in your beard. Make sure you get some of it on your skin too. A healthy beard um, is a product of healthy skin. And so if your skin is dry and flaky and has some issues underneath, your beard's gonna kind of reflect that. So if you um, put this in, put it in, work it in, touch your skin, kind of get it in there, and then take your comb um, and, and comb that through, and that will help give your beard a little bit more shape and just enough hold for it not to get crazy. I'm sure you can also blow dry it in. If you put this in your beard, you can kind of blow dry that straight. The blow dryer on like, a, if you don't put it on too high of a heat since you're putting the stuff on your skin, you don't want to warm it up on your skin and, and create a potential reaction or something. Um, put it on like a medium heat setting and blow dry it down as you're combing and that will kind of heat up the product in your beard, will straighten your beard at the same time, and then when it dries and it cools down, put it the, start at medium heat, and then put the cool setting on when you're done, and kind of give it a once over, and that will kind of give your beard the hold um, that it needs without it feeling like you just put hairspray in your beard or something, like it's not gonna just adhere to your face, but it will give it a little bit more shape. So I get a lot of people asking me um, the difference between beard balm, which could be your utility balm, and beard oil. They're like, what do I use? What's the difference? Should I buy both? Beard oil is purely just to soften your beard and to soften the skin underneath. Like I said, your beard hair is going to be healthier if the skin underneath is healthier. So if you get your beard oil, you put it in your hand and you get it on your skin, you're gonna be moisturizing your skin and your skin underneath is gonna be healthy and that's gonna reflect in your beard. I'm trying to get it. I like that it doesn't, it kind of is taking a while to come out because there's been, I've worked with some beard oils where you go to pour it out and it just like half the bottle pours out on your hand and then you're like left with oily hands and you're probably gonna put way too much on your beard. If you put too much on your beard, you're definitely gonna have kind of a shine to your beard, um, which isn't a problem, um, but it's definitely gonna make your beard hair softer, and it has the potential to make it a little bit fluffier the softer, the softer it is. And that's where um, blow drying it comes into play as well. If you feel like you wanna soften your beard, but you wanna give it um, some hold without putting the, the utility balm in, 
you can put the beard oil in, comb it through, make sure you get it on your skin, and then you can take the salt spray. I have some clients um, that really like putting the salt spray in their beard and blow drying it, and that's gonna give it a really nice texture and hold, and that's gonna take away some of the shine. Um, it's gonna take some of the shine away because it's adding texture in the, in the natural hold. The sea salt is gonna kind of um, absorb the, the oil without taking away the moisture that you just put on there. So. You can put the beard oil on, get it on your skin, comb it through, make sure it's all the way worked through, and then take some of the salt spray, give it a light spray around, and then take a round brush or your travel brush and comb it down as you're blow drying it down. And that'll give it a really nice hold without making it look like you have a bunch of stuff in there. So I talked about the travel brush a little bit. Um, I actually, I have the round brush as well. I should have gotten it out in preparation for this. Um, but I really like their, their round brush. I use this on, I use this on all the beards that I blow dry. Um, this travel brush is good just because of the size. Um, you know, you, it doesn't have the circular shape to it, but you can still kind of comb it down and hold it down while you're brushing it down. This is a utility bar. And I think, I think this is the old money scent. You can use it in your hair. You can use it on your face. You can use it in your beard. You can use it as a shave soap. Um, if you have, you know, uh, a lather brush, you can lather it on there and, and put it on your face and shave with it. Um, it's definitely not gonna foam up like a hot lather would, uh, like a cream, but you know, you can still shave with it. Make sure you use hot water and that's what's gonna kind of activate the soap. Um, but this is really good to kind of keep in your gym bag, keep in your travel bag, you know, your little toiletry bag, cause you can use it for everything. Just get everything clean and smell nice. I love this scent. I talked about the comb. Um, it's really pretty. I like it. I have got a couple of these combs. Um, I don't think a lot of people know the benefit of wide tooth versus the fine tooth. Um, as you're combing your beard, start with the wide tooth because if you have, um, or your hair, you know, if you have um, kinks or knots in your beard, you don't wanna use the fine tooth because it's just gonna get caught and it's just gonna keep pulling and it's gonna break your beard or your hair. So use the wide tooth first and kind of give it a once over. That goes well with the beard oil. If you put the beard oil on your beard, that's gonna soften it um, and make it a lot easier to comb through. So put the beard oil in and comb through with the wide tooth and then you can kind of go over with the fine tooth. Another good thing the fine tooth is good is for mustaches because it's not as dense Chances are it's gonna be a little bit shorter than the rest of your beard. I don't have a mustache, so this is gonna look ridiculous, but you, know, you can kind of comb down with, with the fine tooth. If you put mustache wax in your mustache and you can kind of work it in, take your, your fine tooth and really smooth it in there. Um, a thing with utility balms and mustache waxes is you don't wanna just get it on top. You wanna to get it kind of in there so it really listens to you. If you have a nice big mustache, um, you know, you want to kind of work it in there and then comb it through. And that is what that will help with. Eyebrows too. Get your eyebrows going. Utility balm will be good for that because it'll kind of hold if you have like these long wiry eyebrows and you haven't been able to get to the barber to have them trim them and you don't trust yourself trimming them. Um, just kind of give them a little, give a little comb through. I have a lot of people asking me um, if they should be putting beard oil on after they get out of the shower, should they let everything dry? You know, if you're in a rush and you need to get the, the towel, you know, just kind of pat it in and try to get all the moisture out and then put the, the beard oil in and comb it through, that will work too. Um, but putting it on, on dry skin um, also isn't bad. And you can kind of see which areas of your beard need the like, most attention when you can see it fully dry. Um, and you don't want to break it too much. There's potential to break some of the hair um, and ruin the length when it's wet because you, you kind of you have less control of what's going on. That's all I got for you guys. It was fun to review these. I hope this helped with your product choices for Beard Brand. I'm a big fan of the entire line of products. Um, I wish I was able to do some hair tutorials for you as soon as 
the stay at home orders are lifted, I will be getting someone in my chair and teaching you guys how to do some haircuts. See you then. Um, this one smells like it has kind of a bit of <laughs> That was my dog. Um <laughs>